The Wheel of Life is one of the most common images that you will see uh, in Buddhist painting of the Himalayas and Tibet. Uh, often it is uh, painted at the front entrance, outside of the doors of a temple or monastery, uh, painted in the, in the sort of the outer foyer of uh, the temple. And uh, <clears throat> the Wheel of Life is also painted as a scroll work, as, uh, the, as the Tibetans say, a tonka, a scroll work, a portable painting. Now, the Wheel of Life is, falls under, under charts, uh, which is under the category of diagrammatic art. Of the three real types of uh, the subjects of different, type, different types of painting, we have figurative, we have narrative, and we have uh, diagrammatic. Uh, the Wheel of Life is diagrammatic, a little bit mandala-like, but not a mandala. It's diagrammatic and it's didactic. It's meant to instruct. It's meant to uh, teach something um, right at the outset. It, 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 there, there's no real hidden uh, teachings. It's trying to uh, make things quite obvious. Now, the Wheel of Life is uh, four concentric circles uh, with a large rassel figure holding it like a disc and uh, with the two hands and the two feet. Now there's many different ways that this can also be uh, portrayed by artists. The earliest wheel of life we know of is uh, painted in the Ajanta caves in, in India, Ajanta and Ellora caves, um, and it has many many uh, divisions in the in the mural painting that's left. It, it's quite a complex um, subject in terms of what they have painted and in the drawing, the coloring. The Tibetan ones, Himalayan ones, can be more simple. Uh, generally, there's aside from the four circles, uh, we have also four, five, or six divisions within, which show the main places of rebirth within Buddhist theory, which are the god realms, human, animal, uh, uh, ghost, uh, hell realms, and the like. And, and there's no set right way or wrong way. There's many different ways that these are, are, are done. Uh, but what is curious is so far we have not found any early scroll work paintings. And we have not found early mural paintings other than Ajanta, but because of the fact that Ajanta has this mural from the 4th, 5th, 6th century, then we have to assume others were painted in India and then into the Himalayas. But it is possible within a Himalayan and Tibetan context, because the Wheel of Life paintings are outside of the temple and exposed to the elements, it is very possible that they have to be repainted every few years because they get worn away. They, they, they get damaged by, by the elements. So that's a very strong possibility. But it is unusual that we, we don't find early. And when I say early, I mean, I mean it could be the, the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th century. We just don't find the, these uh, Wheel of Life paintings. They really are a product primarily of the 18th, 19th, and 20th century. Uh, so this is more of a study, less so for art history, but more for uh, Buddhist studies as to why this might be the case.